Hey guys, in this video let's cover another idea that might improve Warframe from my point of view. But first let's talk about my last video because I figured out why a lot of people say that DE doesn't actually listen to them. No offense, but it's because no matter what they say, the mass majority of people, like from my comments, you're gonna go against what they're saying, no matter what it is. And if Warframe was to listen to you, nothing would get done. I'm not trying to pick and point at you guys or judge you guys, even though that's what you feel is gonna happen. I psychologically see you. But Warframe is not the kind of game that just sits there and, and takes the easy path like some other games where they just keep releasing a new game every year, but every game is just the same content over and over and over, same gameplay over and over and over, just with new maps or new guns. Like, this is not what Warframe does. Warframe is bold. Warframe is brave. They take new ideas that no one's ever thought of and they throw it in the game. And they're like, I don't know if this is going to be a success or if this is going to be a fail, but let's try it. This is what makes Warframe good. This is what Warframe is. So the people that are like, you want Warframe to change, maybe you should go play something else. No offense, but Warframe is constantly changing and evolving. So from your point of view, what you're saying, you shouldn't play Warframe because it's not what you think it is. It's not a stagnant game that like, look at, look at how far we've come from the beginning. We're not just sitting there looking at a solar system anymore. There's been so many changes since the beginning of the game. It keeps evolving and it will keep evolving. Whether I give my opinions or not, the game is going to keep evolving. They could add all these spells to the helm if even if I don't say anything it could be their own idea because it's within their nature to do something like this this is who they are you don't like it maybe you shouldn't play but this is what the game is this what I'm saying here will make sense later it's context for later you'll understand but let me just finish here so what I'm trying to say is if Warframe would have told you guys beforehand they would explain to you this is the K-Drive, this is the Helmet, this is the Arc Wing. You guys would have, the type of people in my comments that like, uh, are rejecting that my Helmet idea, you guys would have rejected their idea. The problem is, that you're not seeing is, you use the Helmet. The Helmet in its current state right now, you use it. You're like, I don't want the game to change because it's going to take away the uniqueness from Warframes. Yes, but you use the Helmet, which you're altering your Warframe and that's not how they were intended to be. So you're actually not keeping it original, you're not keeping it to lore, you're not keeping it the way it's supposed to be, you're changing it. You could have Ember do a, a frost attack. This is not how it's supposed to be, this is not how it was intended to be. But you, you do things like this because you can. If Warframe was to release my idea that I released in my last video, despite all of the bickering you guys did about it, you guys would absolutely fight a shadow without use it. Which is my point here. Warframe knows what you need. They're not going to listen to what you want because you don't even know what you want, no offense. But they're going to give you what you need, which is the right approach as a business. It's a smart choice. I'll give you another example like I was trying to say. The K drive. If they would have told you about the K drive way ahead of time, they'd be like, ah, should we do this? The mass majority of you would have said no. However, without the K drive and the arc wings and stuff like that, and we would have got introduced into open world, you guys would have been complaining about how slow it is. But you don't, because you have a K drive and arc wings and stuff like that. So now you have speed. They gave you what you need, they gave you what you're going to use, regardless if you think you want it or not, you need it. That's why they gave it to you. They know what's best for you. So why don't you just trust their judgment? Sometimes they do try new bold things like that sports game that they put in. Sometimes they fail. They try new things that like maybe people will like this. Sometimes they make the wrong call. But you got to try new things or else the game's gonna be stagnant. Nobody wants to play the same game that was at launch. Who would want that? You need to add constant changes, constant evolutions. So why did I say all this? Is it because I'm salty or I'm trying to make a point? It's because I'm giving you context for what I'm about to say, which is Warframe shouldn't listen to you guys. No offense, but they shouldn't listen. They shouldn't listen to me either. They should listen to their numbers and they should listen to their judgment because they know what's best. I'm just trying to give ideas and I'm trying to entertain. 
this is what I'm doing. Now as for what I'm tr my point I was trying to make here is people were saying that they don't want open world for new war. They were adamant about this. So what did Warframe do? They actually listen to you guys and there's no open world. The problem is they listen to you guys. So a lot of the players that hadn't played for a long time and they were just waiting for new war to open up so they could start playing again. As soon as new war came, some of them did come back and play. Great. And as soon as new war was over, they fucking left. Because there was no open world for them to play in. Hence the problem. DE should not listen to you guys. You guys don't know what's best. No offense. You guys don't know what's best. What they should do is they should do open world. They should have put the Devere Paradox in there. Which is probably what they're going to do next anyway. Because they realize, oh shit. Even though this is a grindy mess that everyone complains about. This keeps people fucking playing. And we need people to play our game. We're a company. We need the money coming in. We need you playing. We need our investors to see these numbers. So yes, they're going to give you open world. Because it's going to keep you playing. And I know a bunch of you guys are going to whine. I don't want to do this boring grindy shit. And I don't want to do the boring grindy shit either. Grinding for grind's sake sucks, but there's a solution here. There's a compromise. Everybody can win, but DE doesn't notice this yet. This is why I'm making this video to try to point out a few little details that maybe, maybe you guys didn't see this or they didn't see it. And maybe I see it. I don't know. Or maybe one of you guys could branch onto what I'm saying and you guys say even more than what I'm saying. You guys can pull something out of your hat that I didn't even notice. But I gave you the spark and it gave you the idea and then maybe DE could see the idea and then it could improve the game which is the whole point of these videos in the first place. So the idea is simple. We need rewards. We need actual good rewards. We need countless rewards to basically cover every type of person that exists. What am I saying? I don't go to a carnival. Actually I don't go to carnivals at all. But if I was to go to a carnival I'm not gonna play a game. For playing the game's sake i don't care no offense i don't want to throw the darts at a board and pop balloons for no reason it's like i want that plushie bitch give me, can give me a plushie right that's what it is so it doesn't matter if i win or lose the point is there's a goal now there is something i can achieve so going having open world and i'm grinding just to get reputation i don't give a fuck about reputation i'm sorry but i never do in any game but if there's something that I'm gonna get with that reputation, now I care. Even if it's something stupid like, oh, you get this, this uh, armor for your dog, or you get this plushie for your, for the core for your house or something. I'm like, oh shit, I actually want that stupid thing. I gotta go grind this shit out. Or I'm gonna get this tabard that I like how it looks. It matches my armor. I need to go get that shit. Now you give me a reason to grind. This is what I'm trying to say. De, you, you guys don't do enough of this. You need to add way more shit to your stores throughout all of the game. Like you're, you you, like to make little things and you like to sell little things, great. Why don't you do this in the game too? Sell stuff, sell cosmetic stuff, sell skins, sell color palettes, sell weapon skins, sell kick and parts. We need more and more and more and more stuff. I can't emphasize that enough. We need a lot more shit in the game, a lot more reasons to play, a lot more things to, for us to be like, oh, I, sh I want that shit and I have to go do all this grindy shit just to get this. Not just a handful of things, a bunch of things is what we need. And you could be like, well, what, what does this have to do with open world? Because if it's just a normal map that's repeating over and over, like one of the stagnant missions we go on, that's, that's not enough. If it's open world, it's more exploratory, it's more fun, it's new, it's unique. People want to see what it is, they're gonna play just to see what it is. And that's gonna, that's gonna keep you longer than a one single tile set of a map. Of like, an indoor map, that's not enough, no offense. So in short, I feel that Warframe should make open world. And they should keep trying unique things because it's what's keeping us playing and it's what's keeping the money flowing in so far as for them listening to you guys or to me they shouldn't they shouldn't they should trust the money they should trust the numbers not our opinions because like i said you guys don't really know what's best for them no offense but my last even if you didn't like my last video i really don't care if you didn't like it or not but 
if you honestly look at it from a business point of view, that would have kept you playing. You would have all absolutely fought a shadow without used it. It would have kept all of you playing for a longer amount of time and it would have yielded a lot more money because there would have been people buying more frames and people buying more cosmetics for those frames and people buying new Warframe slots and all kind of stuff like this. This would have brought in a shitload of cash. So regardless if you don't like me or you don't like my video or you don't like my idea, you can't deny the fact that this was a money making idea for Warframe, which is what I was stating in the video. As for you guys that feel targeted, let's see your thumbs down and let's uh, see you lashing out in the comments below. For the rest of you guys, um, what else do you think that Warframe could add to open world to keep you playing? Sure, we need quest, obviously, but my point of view is we can't do, we can't farm rep for rep's sake. We need to farm rep for rewards and rewards that it's gonna it's gonna be worth it no matter what type of player you are